Charcuterie is essentially the act of taking raw meat, be it pork or lamb or beef or anything, fish even, and applying salt and removing all of the water inside because what, like, water is what actually causes things to go bad. Yeah, all you need to do is just pack it in salt, sometimes rinse the salt off at the end and then just let it air dry for sometimes months, years even. We are specifically focused on pork. We do have some beef brisolas as well, which is the eye of round that we've carried. Um, we do guanciale, which is pork jowl, um, capicolo, which is the, uh, the shoulder loin. We do some, some lonza, which is the, uh, the back loin. We do bacon, all our own bacon. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We have some sausage as well, and eventually once we get a proper fermentation chamber, we'll work on salamis. I don't know if anything specifically inspired me to take it up, but I think it's something that not a lot of people know how to do, not a lot of cooks know how to do. And like having cooked for years, there used to be a focus on, oh, we use this specific ingredient, that specific ingredient from this place. And, but now there's a lot, there's a big focus on, no, we make this ingredient, or we make this, or we have the ability to do that. And a lot of people just don't have the ability to make charcuterie because it does take a lot of time and a lot of space. We always have samples of pretty much everything we have available, ready, our uh, lardos, capicolos, um, sausages, bacon jam, all of that stuff, as well as upstairs at the Almanac, where we also serve at least one to two of our, uh, of our pork salad products upstairs on our charcuterie board. And we also supply all of the ground pork, all of the, uh, all of the andouille for our clam dish, all of our pork chops for our pork dish. 